Previously on Paranormal Site, The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. <laughs> For a second, I, th I thought I read this as fucking. <laughs> I thought I thought in his mind, Tetsuo was looking at this guy's fucking Nechima. God damn it. <laughs> this motherfucker. I was like, damn, damn, Tetsuo. That's fair. You know what? That's totally fair. And now back to Paranormal Site. Sneako B! Back with some more Paranormal Sight, The Seven Mysteries of Hanjo. We last left off. Oh, I, I found Nedra. He's over there. He's, he's hiding in a bush. Apparently, that's where he's been the whole time. Just in that bush. Even though we've been here like 30 times. Damn it. The only bush I didn't check in this whole fucking place. But we have a standoff with him on the bridge. And learn that in reality, he wanted the Rite of Resurrection to bring back a lost lover. And it ended up backfiring. And seemingly, she came back as a baby. At least that's what we can tell so far. But this is the reason why he killed so many people. And just when it looks like they might have Nejima back to the corner. Ah, oh, Bazinga, he grabs friggin' Tetsuo's daughter. God damn it. Ayama, you picked the worst time to show up. Or maybe she didn't because now Nejima's dead. Apparently beaten to death. Uh-oh, that's a good thing? A good sign? Or is it? I actually don't know. I'm scared. This guy got messed up. Meanwhile, uh, Mayu is freed from her factory prison by Haruwe Richter and meet up with Mio and Yako to confront Takami about all the dank shit he's been doing. And apparently, the woman he works for, the head of Yako Soaps, is in fact literally just a normie who wants some freaking powers of her own. And they also have absolutely none of the curse stones. Yep, turns out these guys don't actually matter in the least. You dank bitches. But we do also learn that apparently only the curse bearers themselves, the curse stone bearers, are actually capable of using curse stones. Meaning that Hihaku's objective to gather all the curse stones and use them was actually pointless to begin with anyway. Damn, so much for that shit, huh? But yeah, things definitely seem like they're coming to a head here. And you guys did inform me, and I'm actually kind of sad to hear this. Apparently we are starting to get pretty close to the end of the game. Like potentially within like the next episode or two. I guess still some people say I could even finish it today, which is kind of nuts to me. I didn't realize I was that close. Ah, oh, man, I'm so bummed when I heard that because this game has been so good. I actually don't want it to end yet. Can I get like a new game plus mode where I just like go to cat cafes with Tetsuo and Oreo? You know, just hang out with them, shoot the shit, pet cats. God, that'd be awesome. That'd be the best new game plus ever. I will say this game does have amazing pacing though like like i can't blame it too much it's not like well oh it moved too fast because the pacing sucks no the pacing's fantastic i'm just sad because it's been so good that i want it to just keep going i swear to god square enix better fucking continue to pump out more games from the person that wrote this game i hope that this isn't like the end of this paranormal side stuff like i hope there's other stories within it and this isn't just like one and done and that's it I don't know, I think it's gonna depend a lot on what exactly happens here in the conclusion uh, to this story. Uh, but anyway, last episode, uh, Anthony Guerrero said, so basically Nejima's curse is that he doxes that he kills you. <laughs> Truly the douchiest curse was reserved for him. <laughs> yes, because uh, as we learned from the bad ending with Nejima, yes, he, he, once he's got like your name, your address, your location, your blood type or some shit, like all of it, like your basic things that define your identity, he can kill you. So it basically is the equivalent of fucking doxing you. He doxed you so hard you fucking died. <laughs> what a piece of shit. By the way, you guys had also actually clarified too that likely the reason why uh, Yako telling uh, Nejima where Mia was or that Mia was in the building like why that did that result in her death where in the other path where he didn't say anything it did it, she ended up surviving it's likely because one of the stipulations of his curse was to know their actual location like their physical location at the time so the fact that he then knew that oh she is still in the building that's what essentially gave him the last thing he needed to to kill her i see that makes a lot of sense that actually also explains why seemingly not every person at school was killed because at the time right like this is why I like waiting till the evening he, he wait till the evening to to do his curse so that he could do the most damage because where are most students gonna be in the evening after school they're probably all gonna be at home but clearly some people were maybe out shopping or doing something else so they didn't get hit with the curse because he didn't correctly identify their location at the moment really cool i, I love that how much stuff is in this game that's sort of left for you to figure out yourself 
and piece together. Like the, the game doesn't just like serve it up to you or give you a giant like entry in your book or your, or your data here that like tell you exactly why this happens and is the case. They just give you like the pieces and leave you to come to conclusions. And you guys have already pointed out so many things to me that never would have occurred to me otherwise. But Anthony, thank you so much for your hilariously accurate comment. And there's that reason you are comment today. But okay, so uh, we met with Yumioka. We got some more information from him. Preparing for battle. But then we also have Harue and uh, Richter, the last resort, which is the... I, I guess maybe her using her curse stone. Let's... Before that, let's go with Harue. Uh, Harue and Richter rescue Mayu Chizawa and interrogate her along with Takumi Yumioka. Did they fail to gain any particularly useful information about the curse bearers? They decide to return to Haraway's home when... When suddenly... Evening approacheth. Granted, at this point, Nejima's fucking dead, so I don't have to really worry about that anymore, but... Night is coming, so anyone else is still a curse bearer means that they can use their curses. Actually, now that I think about it... Now that I think about it... I don't know if... At what time did Tetsuo and Areo find Nejima dead like that? Because if it was still during the day, which I actually think it was, how could they have used their curse to kill him, right? I mean, seemingly Yame is the one that killed him, and it seems like the way he died where he was, like, hit, like, 150 times or something and brutally beaten to death. Like, oh, that must have been one of her... Must have been her curse stone or the Taigo of uh, Suguru or whatever, like, some kind of shit. But it seemingly was able to happen during the day, unless it was late enough. I don't know. That's kind of weird, actually. If that's not the case, then what? It's just... She have like some natural ability. Maybe she's like super fucking buff. <laughs> she's got a very baggy dress on. She could have some huge muscles under there. All right, we've reached an update on the Austin situation. The 56 year old male suspect who announced his intent to commit mass murder in Samita City today is fucking dead and taken a woman hostage and gone on the run. But was found by the police in a park in Samita after 4 p.m. and confirmed dead. Yeah, it's still, I think it's still daytime. The sunlight is still out. Like even at this point, it's still technically daytime. The weapon the suspect was said to possess was nowhere to be found on site, and its whereabouts are currently unknown. I mean, granted, they now have the one-sided read, which is also not good. Furthermore, the female hostage was not present, and the search for her co for continues. God, I've sat in this chair a lot this game. Interesting. If it's being reported on the news, and that lends credence to a story. I can't look at any of this stuff. Not even the bird anymore. I don't give a fuck about all these things. I don't give a shit about this fax machine. She's like, what the fuck are you doing next to me? Hello? Wonder what her attentions are. How is she able to act like nothing happened? Is this just how girls are these days? What the fuck? I was not expecting you to be right there, ma'am. He was quite chicken just moments ago, but he seems better now. You think it'd be harder for him to keep his cool? Well, it's just like I said, right? The female hostage mentioned on the news just now. That must have been you. Which means you killed Nejima with your own curse stone. Eh, well, he said you'd give me refuge, so I came to take you up on that offer. How did you kill him with the curse stone if it was daytime? Does it just not matter for you? What are you planning? Hmm? Me? Well, obviously. I'm on to my last resort. Well then, how should I proceed? Is this what it's like to be rushing to, to one's doom? You're a curse bearer. So you're a curse bearer with a curse stone too, right? Eh, are you surprised? Yes, I have a curse stone of my own. It's the Taiko of Suguru! Alright, it was, was yours. Then why go after other people's curse stones? Um, because killing people is bad, you know? Don't you think so too? I think so. I don't think so. <laughs> Let's be honest. I wonder. Oh, are you the type of lady who's willing to sacrifice anything for the sake of your goals? That's... Man, it sure ain't good! People will question whether your where your parents went wrong, you know? Bitch. <laughs> well, people can be harsh. 
Either way, that's why I wanted to only use soul tricks gathered by others. But that didn't work out in the end. No one had the backbone to use their curse. The world's gone soft. <laughs> yes, as someone who was literally doing the exact same thing. With no one mercilessly using their curse stone in pursuit of their own goals, I had to take matters into my own hands. And now people might be wondering where your parents went wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose, huh? But it had to be done. If you say. I heard Namagaki, that young man you were with, used his curse stone too. Huh? How do you know that? Ugh, creepy much? Are you stalking me? I may have heard it from a detective I know. Ah, there it is. Cops. But you know a bunch. I know your type. People who boast just because they know a couple of cops. But the police is filled with nothing but scum. My, you seem to hold quite the grudge against the force. Speaking of, this guy's really creeping me out. What's the deal with him anyway? You can explain? Even the way he moves is so weird and exaggerated. Right, right. I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm... Um, no. No, thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what a bitch! I want to talk to you now, Richter. Anyways, I should ask about her side of the story. Okay. So, what are we talking about again? Oh, right, Yutaro Namagaki. He's no good, honestly. He was such a wuss. I had to spur him on so many times for him to even use his curse. And even then, he was pissing his pants. Just when I take my eyes off him, he hands over his curse to someone. Honestly, he's a disappointment. So that's what happened. Which is why I figured I had to do it myself if I wanted to done it right, you know? That's what my last resort is. Collecting soul tricks on my own. Let me introduce myself. It's hard to talk as strangers. Is it? And are you okay t telling me who you are? Well, I won't stop you. Do as you please. Hmm. Well, because she has the one-sided read now, right? Well, I am Haroe Shigama, and this is my house. My father and husband are both the police. Is that so? Then you know that cops are just the worst people, right? Well... There are certainly many who are cold, especially with their own family. In a police family, one is always expected to just grin and bear it, no matter what happens. God, I know, right? What a relief! Do you understand? I think we might get along! Oh? Well, I'm glad then. And I'm Richter Kai, private investigator. Uh, did I ask? But hmm, you're an investigator? So your job is to sneak around and follow people to pry into their secrets, right? Oh, is that why you keep probing with all these questions? Ew. Guess there's not much I can do to change that terrible impression you got of me. Hey lady, why are you working with this dude? I asked him to look into something for me. Really? It's just that he keeps looking this way. You are really annoying, you know that? Isn't your father a police officer as well? That man is not my father. Not a name or deed. Sounds like there's some bad blood there. I've already legally cut t all ties. Even at the nerve to act all high and mighty today, he still refused to help me. You met him today? Yes, today. Remember that Chief Susumi who was chasing Nejima? Well, that's him. My dad. What? Your his daughter? Former daughter? I've cut ties. He's never acted like a father, so he doesn't deserve the title. Hmm. You know, I heard something about that Nejima guy. Apparently he wanted to get revenge on Chief Inspector Susumi for his arrest by going after his daughter. Wait, really? And I heard the police had been searching nonstop to take you into protective custody. So that explains why the police were staking out your place, too. Man, how could I have known that? They came with such intimidating numbers. Wait. Huh? H hold on a minute. Does that mean that Nejima was specifically after my life today? That sounds about right. It's a good thing you got out unscathed. Or rather, managed to turn the tables on him. 
Oh, that means legally speaking, it was self-defense. That truly was quite frightening. I think I'd have to go through this just for the being related to a cop. It's a disgrace. It truly is to cause their own child such trouble. I'm sorry. Um, it's okay. You're not the one that needs to apologize, lady. Ah, I'm sorry. It just reminded me of what happened to my son. Your son? What happened? My child was also kidnapped and murdered in order to enact revenge against the police, you see. What? How awful! That's terrible! I'm sorry to hear that. Ah, now you say it. I do remember hearing about an incident like that last year. That must have been your son, huh? My condolences. Now I think about it, although we've been a few times, I didn't even know your name. I guess you're more like acquaintances now. Yeah, so you use your curse stone. I, I hope we ask about this. So when you were taken hostage by Nejima, you used the curse stone in the gardens and swiftly made your getaway. Well, yeah. I didn't really have time to think on it. At the time, I only thought of how to get out of there. Then, what about now? Could you use it again? Your curse stone. Well, the curse stone doesn't respond during the day, but... It's evening now. Wait, what? So, I tried using the curse just now and... Yep, it seems I activated it. What? You're using it now? It might still be a little weak. I guess it's not supposed to be used repeatedly. But I think I could get it to work once more. Oh. That's so. Sure is, so I'll give you a final warning. It's already started, so be careful, hmm? It started. What started? The curse, of course. All such is for the conditions to be fulfilled. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Spinulios. Calm down, ma'am. If you're using a curse, what would target a curse bearer? We're here looking hella calm right now. I didn't consider it. Would it be possible to use my stone as well now? If it's already activate, active, does that mean we'll die the second we trip our conditions? Her proclamation meant she thinks I'm a curse bearer. Did she find out? Or is this a trick to get me to admit it? Hmm. She didn't even explain, though. How was she able to do it? He said, like, I, it, she almost contradicted herself there. Right? Doesn't res well, the curse stone doesn't respond during the day. I didn't have time to think on it all the time to get out of there. Yeah, it doesn't explain. Doesn't respond during the day. Use curse stone in the garden to made your getaway. I don't know. I guess it depends on what the stipulations are. She activated her curse. The curse stones can be used already. I let my guard down. I didn't think it could be this used this early in the evening. Ma'am, please calm down. Actually, wait, hold on. Maybe maybe that's what she meant. No, that's, that's what she meant. She meant it's it was just close enough to evening for her to use it by that point. That's what she meant. Yeah, it's pretty, like, pretty early. Like, the sun is still out. And I guess that's why we're all so surprised. Well, what should I do? Should I keep her talking? Oh, well, this is interesting. I have got a many choices. Which curse stone? I already know. Why me? Nechima's death. What are your stone's conditions? Do you have a light on you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me uh, let me go ahead and just uh, throw that out there. That's not gonna come across as weird. What is the Taiko of Suguru? What was Nechima's curse stone? Beg for forgiveness. What are the haunting clappers? What are the seven mysteries of Hanjo? What do you desire? What is your family like? What do you desire? No, instead of talking about that, how about we talk about why you're so shaken? As I thought, you have a curse stone too! You're a curse bearer, aren't you, lady? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm sure you've already noticed. Well, yeah. Around last night, it was a little too obvious. Judging by your dress, I'm guessing you've got the haunting clappers. Yes, that's right. There's a lot of soul drags on the table for killing a curse bearer, you know? I'm well aware. Did you get soul dregs when you killed Nejima? 
Of course, his skirt stone already contains some soldiers as well. I think killing one more curse bearer will be enough for the right. You can combine soldier eggs across several stones. Correct. All it needs is the pre prerequisite amount. As long as you've got that, it doesn't seem to matter where you get you got them from. I see. Then, you won't mind if I took them, right? My, my lady. You're quite motivated, aren't you? Ma'am. It's come to this, huh? Her father, Tobacco, Nejima, her desire, negotiate. Oh, this is interesting. Hmm. Back to your desire. What is your wish, Ayame? I see, use curse. Is it really to resurrect Katsushika Hokusai? Yes, there's no life that holds more value than his. Including my own. Really? God, this chick is fucking nuts. So your daughter is a weirdo. You're saying you'd be willing to die if it meant bringing Hokusai back to life. Not all life is equal. At least, not to me. A life that can birth art with the power to move hearts is infinitely more worthy. Compared to that, the life of someone like me, so they can produce a thing, has no value. That's unhinged. I'm still young. It's the age for wild thoughts. But aren't you the same as me? What? You've got a life more important than your own. A life you consider more important than the lives of many others. That's what you're doing it all for, isn't it? You're right. If I can save my son, I couldn't care less about my life or the lives of others. Who's unhinged now? I'm a mother. It is what it is. Dang, things of a proper parent are something else. Keep going. But if that's your wish, then... What do you plan on doing if you don't get your wish? Oh, I haven't thought of it. I might just keep on trying to bring Hokusai back some other way. You really are obsessed. You and Iaku's chairwoman might be cut out from the same cloth. Who's that? She's like an all-powerful vortex of obsession turned to yokai-level proportions. Hmm, you're saying I'll end up like her? Are you looking forward to such a future? I'd rather not have to wait till I'm old and creaking. I want it to happen now. I'll put my life on the line for Hokusai. Hmm. Okay, well, I can keep pressing her. Interesting. I see the curse thing, but I'm like, can I even really do it? Her father. Your father, the chief inspector. I met him not too long ago. Oh, really? He came off a little stiff and awkward. <sighs> There's a surprise. But there was something charming about his seriousness. And he seemed like he cared a lot about his daughter. Um, please cut it out. It's gross. You don't know a thing about us. Outsider shouldn't butt into another family's affairs. Though he may as well be a stranger to me now. Even if you've cut legal ties, you're still related by blood. Huh? We're not related at all. Huh? He probably thought that I never noticed it, but... It wasn't hard for me to figure out that I wasn't related to them by blood. So you were adopted. Well, I got curious, so I looked into it. It was all pretty straightforward. I was a baby when they took me in. All they did was raise me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is she that baby? Is she actually the baby that they got from Nejima? I thought it might be Yoko. But it might be her if she's adopted, right? I mean, they didn't specify that what they did with the child, I don't think. Uh-oh. That would be ironic then, right? That she's the one that kills Nejima too? Makes me why she's a little weird in the head. My mother first got pregnant shortly after she married. But it was a stillbirth. The whole affair left a deep wound on her heart, 
My father couldn't bear to see it. So it was for her sake that he did it. I was a substitute, a replacement for the child she lost. He decided that all by himself. He didn't discuss it. Maybe he was trying to be thoughtful. So any baby would have been fine as long as it could have comforted the woman who hoped to become a mother. Putting it in such a way, it's not easy to raise a child. My mother was bewildered. Wouldn't you be? After being told to raise a baby that wasn't your own? But she couldn't just abandon the baby either. Yet my father just left everything to my mother and never lent a hand. He's so damn selfish. The two of them grew apart. I watched them try and figure out how to understand each other, and the sight of it disgusted me. It was a messed up family, I'll tell you. Well, I guess my presence was to blame for the rift to begin with. You shouldn't say that. I know he's bad at expressing himself. It has his work. But still, that shouldn't be an excuse. But knowing all that, I couldn't take it anymore. It just made me want to hurry up and leave home and live on my own. I still rely on him for tuition and allowance, but that much is normal for most kids, right? I don't want him to start acting like he's my father now just because he's doing the minimum. I'm sorry to hear that. It sounds like it was tough for all of you. I'm sorry. You're right. It's not my place to talk about your family. Ah, well, I may have said too much. Do you think I spilled all that when I don't even know what the conditions are? Could it be what we were talking about has something to do with the activation conditions for the haunting clappers? Who knows? Hmm. Ah, tobacco. Do you smoke? Huh? Well, a little. Feel free to smoke if you want to, please. I'm okay. I don't see any ashtrays out on display either. Does no one smoke in this family? A little rare, isn't it? Nobody in the family does. <laughs> the look on Richter's face. Oh my god. Wow. Then why did you ask if I did all of a sudden? Well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I actually might be able to kill her then. I, w I would be surprised that just leads to a bad ending, you know? How'd you kill Fumichika Nechima? I'm not telling you. I only ask because it does concern me. He was one of the reasons my child was kidnapped. So much to say. We talked and he cleared the conditions for my stone. Did he show any signs of remorse over his past crimes? It didn't feel like he did, no. I see. The world is full of trash men, I tell you. That's... I agree. In a way, I guess you could say you put a stop to Nijima's mass murder schemes. Hmm, about that. There's no guarantee that I won't do it myself. Huh? I picked up his curse out of the one-sided reed. It really is something else. Unfortunately, I can't use a cursed stone that's not mine until it's late at night. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you can use your regular one a little earlier? That seems like a weird stipulation, but sure. Really? Are you okay with telling me that? Ah, oh, how silly of me. I let that slip. T. I'm a silly little billy. Listen, Ayame. I have something to ask you. No. The answer is no. The curse on your possession. I... I'm not giving it up. You're right. We're both made of stronger stuff than that. You're not giving it up. And neither am I. You know full well, right? That there's no room left for negotiation here. You're right. There's not. Oh shit, I can't. What? 
Oh, I have no choice. I have to do it. No, I won't do it. All right. Fucking hell, here we go. Huh? Did you try to use your curse just now? Just now? It seems I didn't meet your curse's conditions. I wonder if it was smart to secretly toss the lighter I was carrying earlier. Uh. When did... You made a mistake when you decided to ask me about smoking. Oh. If a source of fire is the condition for your stone, then you won't see me falling for it now. Mm, okay. This is probably gonna lead to a bad ending then, because I asked about it. You wasted your chance with all this chatter. All you needed to do was activate your curse first. I guess you must have... So she just, like, tossed it while we were talking? I brought everything Nedjima had on him, including the lighter he was holding. But it's over now. Yes, I concede. Or maybe... I don't know. Actually, actually, maybe this is leading to a better ending. Alrighty. With your cards to the table, you're out of options. It might be possible for Mr. Investigator there to pin me down by force. But he's not going to do that, is he? Correct. I won't take that risk. Not while your curse's conditions are unknown. Still have the curse thing there, too. Coward. I came to kill you and acquire your soul tricks, but... After hearing you out, I had a question for you. Why don't you just... Give up on the right of resurrection? Oh, and then it went away. You said it was your son, right? The one you want to bring back? But you haven't done enough. I'm sure your son is content knowing you care for him this much. I'm truly willing to die to resurrect Hokusai, but... You can't say the same, right? If you're going to bring your son back, you have to be alive as well, right? In fact, will you really want us for both of you to live, right? Y yes. Well, even if both you both live to see it, your son would grow up knowing you for who you are, someone who stole the lives of others to bring him back. You would be putting the burden of shouldering all the lives sacrificed for him on his little shoulders. Are you really okay with that? <laughs> if you didn't think about that, then what you're doing is not for your son. It's for yourself. Or you just bring him back to fulfill your own desires. That's not... Ma'am. What she's saying may be harsh, but holds a kernel of truth. Don't reduce yourself to nothing but a mother who would sacrifice anything for her son. But... that's not... We discovered the truth behind this kidnapping. Next, you should take some time to come to understand your own feelings. I'll help you every step of the way. Get into the heart of things is what an investigator does. What will you do? Ma'am. If you relinquish the curse stone to a curse bearer, you will no longer be a curse bearer. You won't be a target anymore. Ayame is giving you a chance. Think hard, and then give your answer. Give up the curse stone. Don't give up the curse stone. I think we have. It seems like we might have actually have two chances for an ending here, two like two different endings here. Like one where we potentially kill her before telling her about the tobacco thing, and then one where she kills me. But let's go ahead for now and just say give it up. Very well. Here. Thanks. Glad you see could see reason. Ma'am, you made the right choice. Dang. You really didn't collect any soul dregs, huh? I promised myself that if I ever used it, it would be my be only once. But in the end, it didn't come down to numbers. So they only need to be carrying a flame. This seems pretty practical. Well, I'll be taking my leave then. There's no point in going after you for soul dregs, so I'm off to the next curse bearer. Do you know who remains? You speak as if you've already figured it out. Mm-hmm. I've got a pretty good idea from our talk. What will you do? Do you plan to stop me? 
Oh. She probably figured out her dad is a curse bearer. So my place to intervene. All right, then. Hey, lady, can I buy your phone? I don't mind. But who are you calling? Hmm? The cops! I think it would be faster if I call them directly. Oh. Gonna get her dad to come right over. Haru's resolve. All right, time to see some bad endings, right? Okay, ask about our father. Fuck you, bitch. Huh? Man, please, think this through. Die. Burn. Fucking burn. Power of a god. Ma'am. Why? Don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck, Richter. It was the only way. Richter. Could we settle any outstanding tabs now? Yeah, sure. Burn. Burn, bitch. All done. <laughs> Some days later. Amamori, you got a moment? Uh, of course, what is it, Mr. Richter? Who's Amamori? I was just curious. Have you heard of the legend of the mother who prayed to the Sumida River and resurrected her dead child? What are you on about? Mm-hmm. The mother searched so desperately for her abducted child that she lost her mind. Her son was found dead in Sumida River, so she then built a mound and continued to pray there until... Her son somehow emerged from the mound, back from the dead, or so the legend goes. I heard it's being adapted into a no-play, too. Interesting. And... Well, it just had me thinking that legends really do exist. Um, sorry to ask again, but... What are you on about? Interesting. So did it work? He said, he said it came out of the grave, but she still lost her demon mind? Maybe first she would have, like, gotten enough soul drags, right, from that shit. Hmm. Okay, I think there's still... Probably another thing I can do here, right? Oh, we still have a little bit more here. Never mind. This is what it is. Welcome to my office. Wait, hold on. So, so it did merge from the mound. I don't know. It's kind of, it's pretty vague here. It might be small and dirty, but welcome. Come on, Ernestine. Say hello. That's it. Good girl. Oh, I got bird friends. At least Richter came out the other end on this one. Oh, that boy over there? That must be... Hey, kid! I'm a private investigator. Worked with your mother not too long ago. <gasps> What's that? You want to be an investigator when you grow up, too? That's great! You're so much better than becoming a police officer. Hey, hey, I'm Amori! Don't you tell the kid to give up on his dreams. I think it's a great idea. Oh, really now? Why don't you bring us all some tea instead? <laughs> Pardon me. Let's start over. What brings you to my humble office today? Seemingly she did. Haru's leg Haru's legacy. Seemingly she did revive her son, huh? Interesting. Yeah. Seems like it actually did happen, but she died or something. Yep, I knew it. I knew there was still another one. So now we're going to uh basically give her the uh the information here, and then Yep. And now I'm not going to give her my curse stone, all right? No, fuck it. Kill me. Sorry, but that won't make me back down. Ma'am, that lighter. What did you... Ah, ah, what? My clothes are on fire! There does not need to be an open flame. Bitch! <gasps> Die! Huh? Ma'am, please, take us through! Ah! 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 Cool. Okay, I probably could just let that shit. 
Rob, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. Fuck, fuck, she fucked around, found out. <laughs> Shit, okay. I probably should, sorry. After that build up, I kind of wanted to set her on fire again, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> what the hell? You already stole this ending. Why are you doing it again? I don't know. She pulls out a fucking graph. She's like, listen, all right, this is the level that she fucked around. And this is the point where she found out. <laughs> All right, so, okay, probably do it and then uh, don't actually activate the curse or something, right? I guess. Or maybe I just do it here, right here. It's pointless, I'm telling you. Do it again. Uh, no. Okay, now that doesn't work, so. I assume it's the, it's just doing that, but then don't use it. Unless she does it regardless, which I suppose could be the case. Which actually, actually might be the case because she might make the choice to do it anyway. I, I actually pressed it last time. I'd like to meet back down. Is there a fire? It's gonna be an open flame. As long as there's a spark of fire on you. Oh no, she does. She does. Okay. That's really cool. So what this shows, right, too, is that and it's the same thing that happened with um with Shogo, right? Where he will essentially do it regardless after I've already initiated at the beginning. Same thing with her. Like She's choosing, and basically in those moments where I'm not pressing it, she's choosing not to do it, right? She doesn't take the, take the reins from me and do it herself. So she's still like level-headed enough to to be that way. But the moments that when I, I'm the one pressing the trigger to do it, that's me. That is actually me doing it. So that one is just death. Okay, so in that, in that case, I think I actually have to... She's admitting to be a curse bearer, and then... I think I, I think I have to get her to, to not talk about this shit, right? Or maybe just... Oh, do you have a, do do this right away? Do you have a light on you? Tell me that. How about why you're so shaken? Or maybe or maybe just say no, no. Ah, there we go. Oh. Huh? Oh, she has. You have to say you're not a curse bearer or something. Ma'am, ma'am, damn. Did she feel the conditions? She sure did. Okay, it's time for a beat down, bitch. Jeez, why'd you just try to hide it now of all times? Wouldn't have come if you were in a curse bearer. Probably, I'm gonna. Stop! Hmm. Too bad. She's already dead. This is horrific. Ooh, gross. I'll be taking your curse stone. Richter, lay her out. Whoa. Huh? All the hunting clappers needed was a source of fire? That was a close one. Now then, what will you do, Mr. Investigator? Ugh. You're not curse bearer, so I don't have any reason to kill you. But I won't show you mercy if you're going to try and capture me. So what will it be? I still don't know how a curse works. It's too risky to make a move. Um, your employer's already dead anyway, so... I assume it must be... Either, like a liar? Kind of like the, what Tetsuo's is as well? There's no reason for you to go out of your way to arrest me, right? I can still do my duty as a citizen and report you, you know. Oh, what a surprise. This is when you decided to suddenly choose the side of righteousness. She was after the same thing, you know. There's no clean hands when it comes to soul dregs. Well, it looks like you don't have anything to say about that. I'll be taking my leave then. Bye-bye. Damn it, Richter. Come on. Slap that shit out of her. <laughs> Upon killing Haraway Shigama, a fellow curse bearer, Hayame Tono obtained more than enough soul dregs for the rite of resurrection. However, it turned out that the resurrecting someone who died a long time ago required an even larger amount. Oh. To fulfill her heart's deepest desire, she'd need to harvest more. Oh, God. She's going to do exactly what Nejima was trying to do. So, she waited for the sun to set. For when the Feast of Shadows effects were at its peak. She used the one-sided reed, Curse Stone, she had stolen from Fumichika Nejima. With it, she proceeded to kill all those whose personal information she knew, starting with those who, who mattered least to her. About the one-sided reed. Kills by dismemberment, one whose face, address, name, occupation, and location are all known by the Curse Bearer. Whose personal information she knew. So I, I guess she must have gotten the file then from him? Many of them were random men, gullible. Oh, gullible and disposable, drawn in by the allure of. No, no, it's the people that she's met in her life, I see. By a female university student. One noteworthy victim among them was Tetsuo Susumi, who, being a curse bearer himself, was probably targeted for his soul drags. Oh my god. 
Zumi's death through the investigation efforts in disarray, allowing Ayame to evade capture. Afterwards, she acquired various address registers and phone books and systematically killed the people listed in them. Unsuspecting victims could be safe at home, only to suddenly have their limbs severed. The strange death shook society to its core. Damn, this shit crazy as fuck. Ah, fucking damn. She's over there laughing right now. Ah, yay! I'm murdering! Yay! Yay! I'm such a silly little billy I am! Woo! Man, fuck you, bitch. Now I don't feel bad to set you on fire in that other ending. Multiple times. I just couldn't get enough of doing it once. But all things must come to an end. And so, in time, the killing stopped. Sometime after the killings, a modern-day genius female ukiyo-e artist burst onto the art scene. She introduced herself as the mysterious Mad Painteress, and her fame grew quickly as she presented one incredible work after another. Praised as the modern reincarnation of Kasushika Hokusai, she quickly made her mark on history. Oh. Well, that's interesting. So that... Wait, so did the child before the, the young boy come back, was that... I mean, how much time later was that? I thought it, I thought it was only a few days later. Did it say a few years later for, for uh, Richter? Actually, I may have just said... Did it just say some, some time later? I don't know. Interesting. It, it seemed like the, guy, the person she was resurrecting was a guy, right? But then actually was born as a girl? Seemingly. So she came back as a child and then grew up. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. Ending four, Yame's aspiration. Way to go, Yame. Your dumb wish became true. I hope you're happy. All right. All done. Now, preparing for battle. For battle. Together with Shimizu fiance Mayu, Yako and Mia report all they've learned so far to assuming the others. Pulling all those stories together, they can see their final objective at long last. The moment of truth and justice is upon us. I've got to kill my daughter. She's crazy as fuck. Mr. Susumi, this is Mayu Shizawa. Ah, so you're the one. The Sumida police was looking for you. Glad to see you're all right. Sorry, I should have, should have told someone I was okay. I was just so pissed off. Falling right into Hihaku's hands. Got myself into some deep shit. Hiyaku seems like they're still up to something. We'll have to make sure they clean up their act, once and for all. Get it? Because they sell soap! Ah, Bazinga! Dad jokes! Nice one, boss! You're really on top of your game today! Stop trying to make me feel better! I should have said anything! Shut up! More importantly, Mayu, thank you for your cooperation with Yashimi. We'll get to the bottom of it, I promise! Oh, you must be Detective Areo. I heard a lot about you from Hajime. I'll be counting on you. Catch whoever did this, no matter what. Hi, Mia. Not sure why. Oh. Not sure why, but I feel fired up. Actually, I think I'm playing as her, aren't I? Feels like we're close to the moment of truth. I think Mia feels the same. Moment of truth and justice. So we're, we're finally coming? Coming up to the moment of truth. I don't know what will happen when we put the Tosmas together and obtain the record of Fate's Yin Scroll. All of us are about to fucking die. Maya rushed to Tommy's place and back for us. She's been trying to appear calm, but I'm sure she must still be in shock. I bet he's making jokes and stuff at a time like this because he doesn't want to stress us out. What if he's able to stay so calm because of experience? Or if he's just that kind of person? Detective Araya was nice enough to get us something to drink earlier. See, detective take time for little things like that helps my mind at ease. Uh, ease a little. I don't think the bird's gonna be around here because I think I only have one left, if I remember right. And it's like at the park at night. Oh wait, no, I have two left. Approach the net. Oh. Oh no, maybe there is. Nets over here. Well, but finished investigating the crime scene, the police have mostly left. But the thing is used the school as our base of communications as per Inspector Susumi's request. Uh, maybe, maybe not. I think maybe the net is the uh the goals over there. It doesn't seem to be any one anywhere. Maybe I missed it, but it was like in this location previously. Mayhaps. Wait a minute. Oh my God! I see it. It's right there. 
Hold. Wow. I almost missed it. It's super tiny. Oh my God. Baby burp. Peekaboo. Ha ha ha. Yeah. All right. Let me, that now it does leave only one more. Revisiting the park at night. Cool. Wow. Well, I decided to check. It wasn't even the net I was expecting. I guess. It was, I guess this is this is the net, the fence net. I suppose. Like a chain link fence, chain link fence or something. Yeah, whatever. Oh, Mr. Susumi, I received a message from Paranormal Affairs earlier. It wasn't from Nakagoshi, but I had someone look into something for me. So even the desk jockeys are lending a hand. Brings a tear to your eye. So, what do they say? Right. About the Omiyoji woman who was in Edo at the time of the Hanjo incident. She was a person of great beauty and discerning taste, but also shamelessly did whatever she wanted. It seemed to match the person seen in the resentful memory for the full washing mansion. Huh. So she must be the one who, s who fought with Samen over the right. And they found that her name was Ashino. Uh-oh. Lady Ashino, huh? So she was Lady Ashino? Ashino, huh? What else? Um, that's all. That's not much help. Oh, but... Apparently, she was quite the powerful Omiyoji. And she died bearing a similarly powerful resentment. It's possible that she became a vengeful spirit with a connection to the Seven Mysteries. A vengeful spirit? If any descendants of Ashino or people otherwise closely aligned with her live today, there's a possibility that spirit awakened and possessed them. Oh. Okay, it's gonna be... That's gonna be Yoko, right? That's what that's gonna be. So we've already got now, uh, fucking Ayame's whole thing, right? It's gonna be Yoko. But it does kind of make me wonder, because the name is very similar to Shino, right? I don't know, though, because the thing is, is like, I don't know, actually. The thing is kind of weird, though, is the the fact that, like, Tetsuo adopted Ayame, right? Like, why is that it mentioned at all? That seems kind of weird, and because that was from the case, and he was the one running that case, it does seem very likely that she'd be that child. But at the same time, her name was Shino, right? If that meant that she was that baby and she came back, right? In another way. Like, it's possible that there's a Shino and then a Shino and they're not tied together at all. But it is just kind of weird that they have, like, the only difference between the name is an, is one letter. It almost makes me wonder if, like, maybe she was already a descendant, right? The, the one that died before and then came back again? I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, you mentioned before that spirits can possess people who are closely in sync with them. Though this, of course, doesn't mean the spirit houses her complete personality. Her resentment and her spirit power, those are the parts of her that would have the strongest influence. So Samen's descendants are still around in the present. It wouldn't be surprising if Shino's were too. They might just be disc jockeys, but they wouldn't give us this info if it was only speculation. They must have found some amount of evidence, like into an abnormal phenomena or things like that. Oh. The Feast of Shadows. There it is. Our abnormal phenomenon. Mew, what do you mean? The person who initiated the curse this time, who we've been calling the Mastermind. They might be possessed by the vengeful spirit of the Omiyoji named Ashino, the enemy of Seiman. It just seems, I don't know, it just does feel kind of like we hit the end of... Well, I don't know. But then again, technically, she also ran off. You know, the, the true ending to her scenario was literally her getting away with... Harue's uh, curse stone, right? And now she has three. But I think I'm just sort of like, I, I feel like Yoko's gonna come back into play in some way here, right? Do you have any idea who they could be or where to find them? Like, if you looked at them, Miu would you be able to tell right away? Uh, it's like how I didn't realize that Mishio had fused with your consciousness, Yako. Common spirits will link spirit energy left and right, so I can notice them just by looking carefully. But when spirits of a higher caliber fuse with someone's consciousness, detecting them isn't so simple. Oh. I'm sorry. My skills need a lot of work. I don't have anything else to offer. This is why you need a spin-off, Mio! Mio, that's not true at all. You're fine. We'll make this work somehow or other. Thanks. Let me talk to you first. Oh, Mayu. Did you meet with the Tomi? Yeah, I met her at the spot I was told. She was acting tough, but I think the incident with Hodge has her really shaken up. 
I briefly explained our situation and had to give Hajime's talisman to me. Here, that's what you were looking for, right? Yeah, there we go. Yes, I believe that's it. Thank you so much. Um, Mr. Susumi, about this. Right. You should hold on to it, Mio. Now let me use it as it is. Try to figure out what we'll need to do once we get both halves together. Understood. I'll see what I can do. Do you know where the other talisman is? Um, yes. Probably. This is Hajime's last job. Fish it for him, okay? We will. Guess it's the end of the fa his family line, too, huh? All the people who inherited that talisman before him are already all gone. Basically, I believe the mastermind behind everything is a woman possessed by the vengeful spirit of the Omiyoji Ash Ashino. I see. Is this mastermind also the one who killed Hajime trying to get the record of Fate's Yin scroll? Yes. I think that's very likely. So, that's how it is, huh? Then I want to catch them no matter what. Okay. Rayo. Come to think of it, did old man Ashimiya end up getting away? Ugh. So, word's already out, huh? He was cornered, but managed to take a hostage and escape. It's what I heard on the radio. What happened after that? So, that's all they're reporting. Here's what really happened. He was killed? And the hostage was Susumi's daughter, whose whereabouts are still unknown. Yep, his daughter showing up was a huge surprise. Even Boss couldn't believe it. Damn it! The hell do you expect? No one could have seen that coming! So there's already an emergency search underway for her as a key witness and suspect. I'll be rejoining the search for her after we're done here. Key witness and suspect? But wasn't she a hostage? Could she have killed Nejima and fled the scene? Well, it's just a possibility. Ugh. We're talking possibilities. Might as well tell them everything. It's very likely that Nejima was killed by a curse stone. What? By a curse bear? Oh, it's already evening. So the effect of the Feast of Shadows would be starting to return. Yeah. Which makes it likely that a curse was used to kill him. Boss, you're repeating yourself. Try to calm down for a sec. But that would mean... The inspector's daughter is probably a curse bearer, right? Huh? Did you say something? Maybe I'm losing my hearing in my old age. Boss, you can hear just fine. Don't play the old man card every time you want to get out of something. We even talked about how she might have the Taiko Suguru if that's the case. Did we? Ah, my memory is a little hazy. You got a soft spot for your daughter, don't you, Inspector? Grr. It's just... It's a little too close to home now. But either way, we have to find her as soon as possible. Only before she finds us and potentially murders us. That's why we'll be joining the search as soon as we're done here. One more thing. There's a very good chance that his daughter has Michio Shiraishi's talisman. All the more reason for you to get back to that search. Best of luck. What the hell has she gotten herself into? Ah, heard you had a curse stone too. Yeah, I should give it to you then, Rod. This thing's really all pain in the ass. I'm glad they had it over to you before it starts giving me any crazy ideas. So, this is the beckoning light, huh? Alright, save and sound with me. So let's have a little look-see here. So at this point, do we know where all of them are? All but the Whispering Canal, which we're pretty, I'm pretty sure Yoko has it. I think, she, I think she's gonna sort of pop in at the end here, right? All right, save and sound with me. Sorry you won't be able to bring him back. Don't worry about it. He and I will always prepare for the worst anyway. What the? What's wrong? Damn. The trigger for the beckoning light's curses. Some serious shit. Yeah, I thought so too. That's why I said it'd give me weird ideas. See what I mean now? Yeah. I think you see, that technically means Tetsuo probably could use this on his daughter to stop her if he has to, right? It's a really good one. How's it work? I'll leave you a note you can read later. 
We have more important things to worry about now. Uh, right. Mr. Susumi, does that make it five crystals that you've gathered now? Should be. I want to get the other four under wraps as soon as we can. Let's see. I have no idea about the Whispering Canal. Someone made off with the one-sided reed, which Nechiba had. Yeah. Damn shame. After that, you said earlier that the Taiko Suguru might be your do with your daughter, Inspector. Well, let's set that one aside for now. So, we can assume that curse bears are still prowling around out there with those ones. What a headache. Hopefully we're going to find them soon. Now, is that everything we need to chat about? If we don't need anything else, we'll be going back to the search. Um, there is actually one thing. Oh, what's that? Um, just completely hypothetically. Hypothetically, what if the inspector's daughter was the mastermind? I mean, she's a woman. Seems like she was after the talismans. Uh, sorry. Don't really understand what you mean. <laughs> Boss, come on! We've got to look at the facts! But that would mean Inspector Susumi would also have to be one of Ashina's descendants. Oh, right. You're just a normal person, right, Inspector? Unless that's why you're so resistant to the paranormal. Oh. Don't believe I've ever heard anything about being related to some Omiyoji. But... He's not related to his daughter, right? And he's not telling them that either. Oh. But, well, if you put it like that, her being the mastermind, it's possible. Really? Ah, uh, I say possible, but I mean unlikely. It's what I want to think. Damn it. I don't even want to imagine it. Boss, if we're going to consider it, we have to do it properly. No dragging your heels about it. No, it's not that. There's something I never told her. Never wanted to tell her. The truth is, she's not my real daughter. What? 20 years ago. Well, it's a long story. But we took her in when she was just a baby. Do you know anything about her birth parents? You could say I do, I guess. But really, I don't know anything. No, it totally is. Absolutely is. That is that is the baby. That's 100% the baby. What's that supposed to mean? I don't get it. Rayo, you heard what I said, didn't you? Just now? About 20 years ago. No. Boss, that can't be! Nechibus? That's right. When we arrested Fumichika Nejima, there was a baby at his house on the brink of death. That was my daughter, Ayame Susumi. She goes by Ayame Tono now. What? Someone had to take care of her. The baby holds no blame for the circumstances she came from. But, but boss According to Nechima, that baby. Yeah. It's her former lover reincarnated using black magic. What? Personally, I think that story's bullshit. Oh, that's right. No, the, the baby thing was with the black magic side, right? That was with the black magic, the Western black magic that caused the baby to be to happen, right? The Rite of Resurrection was not supposed to be that. But it did seem like in that story, unless I'm misunderstanding, I wasn't the, uh, hold on. Wasn't the person that she was trying to revive a guy? And then they said that he came back as uh, a woman? Yeah, resurrect him with the Rite of Resurrection. Yeah. Interesting. Maybe that was the maybe that's the stipulation here. So it's not going to come back necessarily as the same person. Or, yeah. I guess. Or come back as a girl. I don't know. Unless I misunderstood that ending there. Personally, I think that story's bullshit. According to Nejima. Uh, my goodness. It's hard to believe from ne Nejima's behavior, but could it really be true? I've got a few doubts. We have to question whether the Shino woman ever really existed in the first place. 
There are no records of her, and no body was found. Her name never came up once during the investigation. Even if this woman really existed, I'm skeptical that someone could be reincarnated as a baby through black magic. Hmm. I agree. No matter how you look at it, a spell with that effect is hard to believe. Hmm, it could be a red herring. This all this whole thing, that, that shit could all just be a red herring, and it actually is Yoko. That's what I'm, I'm starting to think, actually. Even the supernatural has rules that must be followed. Seems more likely she's he's deluded himself, not wanting to recognize that a spell he risked his life on failed to work. That's my thinking, too. The more natural conclusion is that the baby is his, and she knows, and that she died in childbirth. As long as we don't know Shino's origin, we have to consider the possibility that she could be a descendant of Ashino. Huh, if nothing else, the names are pretty similar. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, assuming all that is true for a moment, Ayama getting taken away by Nejima and then killing him, that would mean that she killed her own father. Calm down. Zolge still conjecture. But now that Nejima's dead, we have no means to investigate. So regardless of everything, there's only one thing that matters. She's my daughter. As her parent, I'm responsible for her. Nothing could change that. I understand. All right. We should get back to the search. We'll find her and clear up all of this. Yes, sir. The talisman you young ladies are looking for has something to do with this as well. And appreciate if you could help us find it. So if anything happens, please call the police. We will. I'm worried about it, Tommy. So I'm going to head to where she is. I'll be waiting to hear some good news from you all. Oh. Da da da. Conclusion. Is this it? Is this literally the final scene? Potentially? 